latest from the Fox 11 Sports Center. West of here has a bitter taste in its mouth. Silver in 2009 was tough for the Phantoms to swallow. To get a shot at gold this year, they must get through Xavier, a team that feels underappreciated. So which team's chip is bigger? And who will win our biggest Fox 11 game of the week? It's the semifinals in Division Three. Kimberly is the side, and it was a wet one, but that didn't stop the Phantoms from going to the air. On fourth and three, gutsy call here as Jay Tollefson hits Randy Hill for the 26-yard strike. West Appear led 10-0 after the first. Phantoms are equally good on the ground. Trevor Cherney weaves his way through the Hawks' defenders and hopes at 36 yards for the score. But Xavier would get a couple of scores to make this a game in the third. Ben Jensen hooks up with Matt Cicliano for the 27-yard touchdown to get the Hawks within four. But the Phantoms would answer with another score to fly past the Hawks 24-13. WDP will get another crack at a state title Friday morning when the Phantoms face Catholic Memorial. Well, we knew it wasn't over. I mean, in the fourth round of the playoffs, every team is good and every team is going to give you a shot. And they came back, they made it a game. They're a great football team, but we came up top tonight. It's just a special feeling because our kids have worked so hard and um, it's good. Historically, the Kiwani Storm are very tough to beat in level four. It's the championship game that trips up the storm. But that's a conversation for a later date. Today, it's all about repunching their worn ticket to Madison. The Storm meeting up with Baldwin Woodville in Division 4 at D.C. Everest. Pick it up in the second. Blackhawks down six with the ball. Jake Kiefer plows up the middle for the touchdown. 7-6 Baldwin Woodville. But there's no concern in this Kiwani club. Doug Delabrew has an arm, and boy, does he like to show it off. He connects with his buddy Mike Luck. Storm's other defensive threat, offensive that is, Craig Chrisman. The senior provides a dagger with this four-yard TD. The storm blow past Baldwin Woodville 21-13. They will play for a gold ball Thursday night at 7. Man, it was just uh, just such a solid performance by our defense. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a heck of a ball team that we played, uh, very physical, and our guys uh, really stepped up today. It means we get one more chance at, uh, at uh, what every team is, is fighting for, and that's a, that's a championship. In D5, Brilliant took on Darlington in Watertown, and the Lions keep roaring. They win 35-14 behind Tanner Banke's 175 yards and one TD. Brilliant will face Colby in the title game Thursday at 4. We'll have highlights from that game coming up on Fox 11 News at 9.